Hey everybody, Karen Bryant with you, and today I've got Brady Heastan kicking back with me, fresh off the win at UFC Vegas 93. Uh, listen, first and foremost, congrats. It's been a, over a year, right, since your last fight, so how good does that feel to get the win? Yeah, it was. I think it was like 14 months almost to the day. On the 22nd, it'll be like 15 months. And so, yeah, getting back in there was, was a dream. And, you know, I, I like that exciting fight. I like the fans like it. And, I like that I got performance in the night, but yeah, it was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was crazy. So for people who don't know, Mike Chiesa was cornering you as well, and he was working the desk with me. So all night long, all all week anyway, like I, I feel like I was just as amped up <laughs> for this fight as he was and as you were, but he was stressing out. And so when I was watching this fight, like he was right across the octagon for me. I came out to watch this one and he was fully bugging. So you put him in some, some tough positions, Brady, like you... Why do you, why do you why do you need to get smashed before you <laughs> you turn it around, man? You were scaring the crap out of him. Dude, I know I could tell. I mean, we went back and watched some of the highlights, and like, dude, you could see him in the corner, like he's like tweaking out. He's like, you know, moving his arm. He's like, no, you know, freaking out, and that just shows that he cares. But yeah, you know, that's definitely not the plan to get hit like that and then come back. So I'm I'm trying to work on it. You know, my second round has always been my worst round. It seems like in the UFC. So we're back to the drawing board. Luckily, we came out with another win, but we're gonna fix it for this next one. Well, it's interesting because it it like you just said, it gives your fans a lot to like cheer for and all that, but. You know, that it's not really that unusual that some people need to sort of get in there and, and get touched up a little before they, they turn it on. But um, is that something that you think about? Yeah, like, hey, maybe maybe I'm a slow starter or maybe I need to, like, do more backstage in warm-up to, to be ready to have a better first round? I don't know. It's hard to say because I feel like – I think in on the judges' scorecards, I could be wrong, but I feel like I won that first round. Yeah, uh, I don't think like, it was so bad. That's what I mean – yeah, like I, other than the arm bar, obviously that like was kind of a sticky thing to get into. But I took him down. I took his back. I almost subbed him a couple times. And so I don't know if it's slow starter. It's just or sometimes it's just a lap lap adjustment. And I, you know, I just need to focus on being focused the whole fight, not be like, oh, I had a good round, then and go out there and then forget what I'm doing and then get clipped. You know, right. that's what happened. And uh, so I have to go back and watch it and kind of break it down and see where my head was at. In, in that fight and where like where I can improve on. But, but I'm sure my coaches have a bunch to say to me. Mike was already talking a bunch of smack, you know, today and stuff. So we'll fix it. Well, I do love the idea of you guys together on the August 3rd card um, over in Abu Dhabi. He's fighting Tony Ferguson on that. But, you know, like what, what has that relationship been like for you to have Mike around? Because he is he, – he really cares. I mean, and he was telling us on the show that – it's more like he'd rather be in there fighting because at least he can control it, the action. It's harder to, to watch somebody that you care about because you can't control everything. Um, but that has been a great relationship, I would imagine, having Mike around. Oh, yeah. Ever since, because for those who don't know, I got in the UFC by being on the Ultimate Fighter. And mm -hmm. so I went to him for a lot of advice because obviously he won it. And so I've learned so much from him. Not only our styles are so similar, you know, we mm -hmm. both are like, you know, heavy grapplers. So I learned how to fight from him, how to train a lot of techniques, but also like some mindsets going into the ultimate fighter. And now as I'm progressing through my career, I look to him, you know, cause he's kind of paved the way for us. It's funny cause me and my buddy Ashton, who's going to be in the UFC soon. Um, we have this group chat with Mike and he named it my children. Cause he's like, he's like a big brother, but he's like, he's like, I don't have any kids, but you two are like my kids. I don't need any kids. You guys are my and so it's kind of funny like that i love it yeah he's got his dogs i know he told me actually at work he was like i'm looking at a new puppy so he might have another kid but uh but yeah it, it's interesting because i first met mike on the ultimate fighter media day so like i've known him a really long time so for me to watch mike come through and and become who he is sitting next to me at the desk and now like daddy to you and some other fighters it's it's been really cool but um for you to get that far in the ultimate fighter was that was that like how do you feel about that coming in you know second like runner up on that you you're so close but it, it almost feels like i don't know i mean it, it it matters and it doesn't matter. Obviously, it's nice to have that accolade, but like you're doing okay without it. <laughs> yeah, well, like you said, it's like I did make it far. I expected myself to win. The fact yeah. that I did was the letdown. And I thought I won the fight. It was super close. I shouldn't have let it be that close. Mm -hmm. But I learned a lot from it and it gave me so much motivation. 
on top of having to sit out for a year because I had a knee injury. So it's like I, I was sitting and stewing on that loss for so long, but it just motivated me. I trained so hard. Once I got back, I just, you know, I won and then I won again and now I'm on my third win. And so I have to make up for that, that, you know, I didn't win the ultimate fighter. So now I got to go win something big. So that's why I'm shooting for that title and make up for it. Nice. So I'm trying to remember after the fight, I don't think you had a specific name in mind, but obviously we know that your division has so many great fights, uh, so many potential matchups. So who, who, who is on your mind? You got to have somebody. I do have a few, you know, I was hoping for Ricky, but. Oh yeah. You said Ricky Simone, right? No, no, I was hoping for Ricky Tercios. Oh, Ricky Tercios. But he ended up losing his last fight, so he's not really in the picture anymore. I would like to maybe rematch. The only loss I have outside the UFC is Chad and Halliger. And so that would be cool to go over to Canada. I hear they're coming back up there soon. Go beat him up. Um, there's a big hit Irish that's talking a bunch of smack out there. I wouldn't mind uh, beating him up. Who else? There's like there's a few guys, you know, uh, um, who I, I almost fought Damon Blackshear. Yeah. I, I'm getting that one back. I know he hasn't fought since he went on that. He fought uh, Mario Batista. Right. So there's a few names, and I'm down to fight wherever. I just want to stay active this year. I want to at least get one more in, right. if not two. So, yeah, whoever wants it can get it. Yeah, I would feel like you, you probably feel like you might want to make up for some lost time or something, right? For sure, yeah. You know, like like I said, I, after the Ultimate Fighter, I was out for a year, and then I just got off a year layoff. And so I've been 50 for three years and only had three fights. And I was telling my corner, I'm like, Ever since I was 16, when I first started fighting, I fought at least two times a year, usually three, yeah. sometimes four and five. And so the fact is that I've had to sit for this long in my UFC career. This is supposed to be where I'm the most active, making the most noise. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely trying to make up for lost time. I'm all gas, no breaks. I literally don't really have anything else that's going to hold me back from fighting. Like, this is my life. I moved out of the fire station. I quit working there. I have a house, you know, a couple dogs like Mike does, and then my girlfriend but other than that i'm just training and fighting so i'm ready to go nice i love it so now that you have a little break though what are you going to do to sort of celebrate or take time off i mean you did get the 50 g's so that that has to help oh yeah but like i said not a long break but i'm actually out here in denver colorado right now i got a tattoo scheduled so i'm going to start an arm sleeve i'm going to be out here enjoying food spend some good time with my girlfriend and then next week i'm right back to work hopefully i guess something to announce here soon Awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations. It's nice having you back in the octagon. And uh, yeah, it was a great fight. It's very exciting. A lot of back and forth. So um, that's kind of your brand. We love it. You know, Mike talks about how much heart you have and um, it's on display every time you fight. So really appreciate your effort in there and congrats. Awesome win. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for having me on. It's, it's good talking to you. I, I hear Mike say such good things about you. Aww. He's talking post fight interviews all the time. So it's, it's fun to finally be on your show. Cool, yeah, great to see you. And uh, yeah, I love that guy, Mike. He is such a good kid. <sighs> yeah, I love it, I love it. All right, Brady, well, we'll see you soon. Thanks for kicking back. Thank you so much. Bye.